How's it going, YouTube? This is Jason, Budget Backlash, uh, coming at you with a rear review. I know I said I wouldn't do any unless asked, and this company messaged me about two weeks ago saying uh, they'll send me a reel for free if I test it and review it. So I agree to. Um, just to give you a heads up, um, I'm not going to be able to do a, like, water test, casting test today, because I am, uh, legally blind, I do not have a vehicle, there are no local nearby lakes and ponds, uh, for me to go to, so... I will definitely do a video as soon as I can uh, get to one of those. But without further ado, here you go. Alright. Here is the Calamus X2. It's a new company. Um, I guess called Calamus. Uh, this is their first reel, I believe. Uh, their... Amazon store has like a uh, fillet knife, some glasses, sunglasses, and some pliers. But this is their first reel that I know of. It's the Calamus X7. All right. Uh, first off, it's a graphite frame and graphite sides to cut down on weight. It is a CNC aluminum spool and an aluminum cranking handle 95 millimeters long um it's got the eva knobs which are really nice it has um it's a 7.2 to 1 gear ratio which is fairly fast it brings in 92 i'm sorry 92 29.8 inches of line per turn uh, as you can see it's a good looking reel I mean it comes it's comes in left and right-handed uh, versions this uh, gloss black with the red accents is really nice um, I forgot what I was gonna say <laughs> Uh, like it's lightweight 6.7 ounces um, and it feels sturdy you know it's it's small it's palmable um, for graphite frame you know it, it doesn't feel flimsy at all it feels really nice like I said it's left or right-handed um, thumb bar it makes it's real positive to me it's it's got a positive click you know it's not no mush slop to it uh the handle there's no play in it i really like that um and it's got a uh took it apart um earlier today when i received it no, i just i cleaned it um and lubed it up and as you can see it, it's it's really smooth i really like it it's uh five to uh plus one um shielded ball bearings double shielded so it is salt water ready uh it only has one braking system calamus calls it their mini adjustment magnetic brakes uh instead of having a brake uh, you know like the magnetic brakes right here on the uh, side panel it's this little wheel right here you know to make adjustments um, I really like it because you know when you're fishing you know you can make adjustments you don't have to turn it but uh, just make adjustments like that it's, uh, it's really nice uh, this is a uh, aluminum um cast control knob and the the knob and the drag 
are audible. Uh, they make their you know audible clicks. I don't believe you'll be able to hear it very well on camera, but it is audible. And I, I really like that. And then it does come with 17.6 pounds of drag, which is kind of a lot, but I mean for the price point at fifty dollars, that's that's pretty good. Um, also, when I took it apart, it like I said, the uh, brass main gear is really nice. Plus, there is four carbon fiber drag disc and so the drag is really smooth along you know the retrieve is really smooth casting is really smooth i put it on a um st croix bass uh mojo bass rod and i was able to cast this thing a long way um right now i have it spooled up with 12 pound fluorocarbon berkeley vanish um but this thing it holds uh 10 pound mono 130 yards 110 yards of 12 pound and 90 yards of 15 or 17 pound i believe and then of course braid 130 yards of 40 pound 110 yards of 50 pound but i mean that, that's plenty for me um i guess to make it low profile they added a a smaller spool but uh, it, it it's nice you know the red spool red accents they make it really nice uh and i'm a big cast king fan and cast king uses these knobs so i'm already a fan of them but like cast king it's got to to release the side plate it's got that little lever and you know, every now and then, uh, all the time actually, I hit it when I ca uh, cast and go to reel. And I've never had the plate pop off, but it's just kind of annoying because you know I hit it and I worry about that, you know. But with this one, you don't because they call it like their hidden um, side plate release. There's this little little switch you see open and close. Uh, just flip this to open and give it a little twist and side plate pops off and as you can see there's eight little magnets in there so it's it's uh, I like the braking system on this thing to put it back together you just slip it on put it in place and Flip that little deal back to close. And there you go. You good to go. And uh, like I said, as soon as I can get out to the lake, I'll do an on-the-water on test and review. But, um, I mean, just sitting right here with it in hand, it, it feels like a really good reel. Um, for 50 bucks, you know, you can't really beat it. But only time will tell, you know, after weeks and a lot of use months of use you know you'll be able to tell like the little flaws and whatnot but the, they also say this the eye uh the level wind eye is made it's a little bigger to cut back on line friction so i mean if it is that's great you know uh i really have no complaints um so far it like i said it's really smooth can't wait to get it out on the water but i will definitely make another video and find out so the calamus x2 check them out on amazon see ya